Hey guys, Barbara here. I can't believe it. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas right now. I can't believe it's December the 19th already. December the 19th, 2016. So today's recipe is going to be very simple. Four ingredients and this is called microwave fudge. Very simple name, very few ingredients. You're watching The Bear Pantry Show. That's when she's putting in ingredients and anything she's making, that's when she does this thing, like these. You're watching the Bear Pantry Show. This is quarter cup of butter, so it's like half a stick. We're gonna dice it. A quarter cup of creamy peanut butter, one cup of powdered sugar, and half cup of little mini marshmallows, and some are missing, I know people ate it. Now the pan is a thing, it calls for like a nine by three by, I'll tell you guys. This seems like it's a little bit bigger, but we're gonna make it work. And you're going to need to line it with parchment paper. We'll come back to that. First things first, let us dice this butter. I really do appreciate these recipes that only use a few ingredients. Three or four ingredients tops, I'm there. So let's go ahead and cube the butter first, all right? Because this is cold from the fridge. And we only want to do this because we want it to melt quickly in the microwave. So it doesn't have to be all fancy. So now next, let me go ahead and add the creamy peanut butter. We don't want the chunky kind because we don't want nuts in this um, fudge. And then the marshmallows. And now we're gonna set it in the microwave on high for two minutes. All right, so this is a minute and a half. I think it needs to go a little bit longer. The marshmallows are not melted well enough. So back into the microwave for another 30 seconds. And then I'm just gonna give it another 10 seconds. All right, so let's go ahead and add in the powdered sugar. And now look at this. Just like I thought, this little pan's not gonna be the right size. So let me go ahead and switch out to something smaller. I'm just gonna go ahead and use this little Pyrex dish right here. Line it with the parchment paper. Just let me go ahead and dump the fudge in. And now it's just a matter of waiting for it to set. See how it looks? It's cooled down already so I can touch the, um, the dish but it has to go for like an hour. peanut butter and anything but I'm gonna taste this because it looks good mm. you can make this and give this to somebody for Christmas gift especially the people that you don't buy like a gift gift you know the people you buy the popcorn for <laughs> buy this. make this four ingredients mm. it's good even though I like peanut butter and stuff it's really good let me give Josh one. Good. All right, let's see. Mmm. It smells like peanut butter. I like peanut butter. <laughs> Not it's bad a, at it's all. A, it, I like it. It's like a... Um, I like the texture. It's like a peanut butter cup without the chocolate. Mmm, so, so, Exactly. Just shove these in the cups mm -hmm. and we're done. Okay. Easy peasy. Mmm. Mmm. Ah, oh, fudgy chocolate cups. Mm. That's what we're gonna make next time. Try fudgy chocolate. For somebody who don't like peanut butter, I ate two already. <laughs> make it three. I think this is the other one. No, I, I'm eating the small one. So this is good. I like it though. It's um, it's the right texture. It's not too soft. It's not too hard. 
but it's not like too much peanut butter. It's just right. And it's easy to make. I like these. These are good. I told him I love the plate. He's going for the plate. <laughs> you got the right one, Colin. Okay. Nobody invited Jada. Everybody invited Jada. Can I hear Jada? <laughs> Mm. That's like peanut butter. Cup. I don't know if that's good or bad, Colin. It's good. <laughs> it's good. It's a peanut butter cup. So we just like dip these in chocolate? Right? Just put them in? Melt some chocolate. This Blast. is microwave fudge. It's Four good. ingredients. That's good. I like it. Today, December the 19th, would have been my grandma's birthday, my mom's mom. Joe and I tried to get married on her birthday in 1986. It didn't work out because the birthday fell on a Friday, and I really wanted to get married on a Saturday. I'm telling you guys all this because I want you to stay tuned for tomorrow. I'm going to be uploading this really, really cool video. Joe and I sat down in front of the fireplace and in front of the Christmas tree and we answered 20 questions back and forth about our marriage and about each other. And I think you guys are going to enjoy it. It was, it was a lot of fun to do and I think the joy that we felt while we were doing the video comes across, okay? I'll be back Wednesday with another recipe, but I'll be taking... Christmas week off. So Christmas is Sunday. I'll take all that week off and I'll be back like on New Year's Day with a bunch of good healthy stuff for us, okay? I'll still be vlogging, but I'll be taking the week off from the cooking channel just to get the work done that I need to get done to have us prepped and ready for the new year. I want to thank you guys so much for watching the show, for liking, for sharing, especially for subscribing. I mean, my, subscri my subscription really grew this year. I want to thank you guys for visiting my website, bearpantryshow.com, checking out the store, buying all the little knickknacks that I'm selling because your support really means the world to me, all right? Until I see you guys again, take care. Hey guys, why don't you stop by the vlog channel, Babs Bear Talk. We've been having a lot of fun there and you can get behind the scenes and updates about the cooking channel.